Now, in early 2023, we can all expect Secret Invasion coming to Disney Plus in early 2023. I feel we all know what it's gonna be about shapeshifters invading Earth, but until recently, I don't think I fully comprehended the scope and significance, which is what I want to talk about. Hello everyone, Fictional Fanatics here, so we can try and theorize on who was Skrull in Secret Invasion. Now I'm currently watching Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, a TV show based heavily on the Avengers comics, and I've just scroll storyline. It was really fun and gave me a good clue onto what might happen in the MCU. In Earth's Mightiest Heroes, we have the Skrulls take control of every powerful organization. Some people are high rank Some of the Skrulls are high ranking Shield and Sword Ancients, the Invisible Woman, Hydra leaders, and even Captain America. We see the distrust that the invasion causes and the unlikely team-ups that it causes. So even if just a bit of that happens, the impacts would be devastating. Just think how the MCU would change if in Endgame Natasha was a scroll, Or what could happen if the president became a scroll? That's the idea of Secret Invasion. So that's our goal. We need to try to find out what people could be targeted, who are acting strange, and just try to find who is the imposter. Now my first choice, it's got to be General Thunderbolt Ross. Now Thunderbolt Ross is a general in the U.S. Army who has had a lot of experience with superheroes. His first appearance was in The Incredible Hulk, where he tracked down Hulk and created the Abomination. He later became a big part of the Sokovia Accords, presenting him, presenting them to the Avengers and tracked down those in opposition like we see in Black Widow. His position is a very powerful one, but, but the nail in the coffin for me was when we heard in She-Hulk that the Sokovia Accords no longer existed. It would help the aliens a lot if extraterrestrials and superhumans wouldn't be hunted by the government by discontinuing them. It would just push forward the scroll agenda. Now, the next one, who I think is a scroll, is Wong. Now, at first, it may seem a bit weird, but I have many reasons. Wong is a source for the Supreme. He has control over an army of magicians, ties to many superheroes, access to powerful relics, and ranking over Doctor Strange. And he has been acting weird. Well, he's been doing it all of Phase 4. He has become a very comedic character from the more serious one we saw in the past. He broke the abomination out of jail multiple times, helped get rid of the Star Harlot Witch, and became friends with She-Hulk, a powerful ally to have. It would make all the strange behavior he has in Phase 4 make much more sense and helps the Skrulls gain dominance. They would also be allies with Madison with a why, but not where you think it is. Who could change the tide in the invasion? Very powerful character. Now my third person has to be King Valkyrie. She's the king of New Asgard. Being able to control Asgardians is another key. She has ties to Thor and Hulk, once again being very important characters. She also has been pacifying the Asgardians, in my opinion. She's turned New Asgard into a tourist destination, where the once warriors are now tour guides. The scrolls were prophesized to conquer Earth, most likely meaning they have a god of some sort, which would be an objective, would be um, which would be an objective of defeating Roar as well as gaining Thor's trust. I mean, if you're just doing all of this stuff, it might seem a bit suspicious to him, in my opinion. One more thing: when Loki was pretending to be Odin and they had a play going on. One more thing, when Loki was pretending to be Odin, they had a play going on, and now, if the scroll is pretending to be Valkyrie, it would, it would be foreshadowing in Thor, Love, and Thunder, because there's a play going on in New Asgard with the same actors as those who are in the play in Thor Ragnarok, when Loki was pretending to be Odin. Now, my next suspect has to be Todd from She-Hulk. He was the founder of Intelligentsia, a group of conspiratorial and mom-like men. These men are targeting female superheroes and trying to receive She-Hulk's blood. The fact that they're trying to get She-Hulk's blood it could be super important, and if the Skrulls could have it, they could do a lot of damage. And being able to influence creators of conspiracy theories who work like a mob would be a good place to hide Skrulls and deflect to other places. Another very suspicious person, in my opinion, has to be Sharon Carter. She is the power broker and ruler of the criminal underworld. She has many ties to superheroes, is trying to recreate the super soldier serum, and now is a spy inside the U.S. government and stealing their secrets. I feel like why she's a scroll is obvious for the reasons I just stated. She is such a powerful person, 
and just doing a complete 180 from the character that we see in Civil War. She could be a scroll very easily. And finally, Hulk. He is one of the most power powerful people, period. He is a major avenger with many ties. As Bruce Banner, he is also one of the world's most intelligent people. And as an avenger and Hulk, and as Bruce Banner, he's a big asset. Now, when Hulk becomes Smart Hulk, he needs a year all alone. This seems very suspicious. He also disappeared on a spacecraft, came back with an alien son, and he has a serious personality change in Endgame and in She-Hulk. All I'm saying, there's a big chance that Hulk could be a scroll. Now, these are other ones I think that could be a scroll, but I don't have enough information where I can't really predict. Some other ones are Kingpin, Xiling, and J. Jonah Jameson. I don't have enough information, but they kind of make sense to me. No, I doubt all of them come true, but I think a few of them. But anyways, that's all I have to say. What do you think about my picks? Are there characters I missed? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see why Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 might be one of the best films in the MCU, check out this video. And until the next one, bye. Just kidding. You're still here? Very good. There's one last person who has to be a scroll. Now, I want to save this for the end because I'm, I'm honestly sure that it's going to be a spoiler if it has to happen. It's going to be out of left field, but it makes perfect sense. Now, our last scroll is Megan the Stallion. You need to be an alien to twerk like that. And having ties with She-Hulk, all I'm saying. I'm sorry, you've just been spoiled. But it makes perfect sense. Megan the Stallion's a scroll. Can't believe it.